Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Common Mission, Barbarossa to Berlin. Um, yeah, so coming back to Barbarossa to Berlin, I think we are still in the Barbarossa phase of this game, operation phase. I wonder when the operation ended, possibly at the end of 1941, but uh, yeah, we're still uh, right in the middle of it, I think. The last scenario was around the um, beginning of September, so yeah. And um, I think I have an idea of what to play next. Last scenario was pretty fun. I was able to get a victory. I don't know how I did it, still thinking about it. Pulled it out in the last turn. And yeah, those kind of things really um, make you know playing this game a worthwhile um, experience and pretty fun, pretty fun too. And hope that the same thing happens or same kind of uh, excitement is in store for us in the next scenario as well. And I I think I found um, a German mission, a German mission that is trying to stop a counterattack, a huge counterattack perhaps uh, from the Russian side. Um, Semi-historical. Just have to search for it. Uh, what was it? I think. Yeah, here you go. Katukov strikes back. So 23 turns, small map, and this is advancing a month into october uh, yeah so 1941 october 6th central allied attack it says allied attack but as you can see um this is um you know one of those missions where you play single player you play as the the other side pretty interesting yeah okay so katukov strikes back so allied attack um october 6th 1941 location oral Mtensk. Mtensk, Mtensk Highway, uh, Central, right, so uh, background, after taking Oro in October 4th, 4th of October, the 35th Panzer Regiment under Oberst Orbach continued the drive toward Mtensk. On the afternoon of October 5th, his task force captured the Liza River Bridge near Carvenbo and Lagard. Lagard? Does it mean that they drank or something? Anyways, the next morning, Orbach again ordered the Panzers and Panzer Grenadiers forward. Uh, but that day, they ran headlong into the Soviet 4th Tank Brigade, led by an energetic and talented officer named Katukov. His brigade, equipped with the latest T-34 and KV tanks, rushed headlong into the German lines, crushing all position. In desperation, Orbach deployed his last reserves in direct defense of the bridge. And um, yeah, this is allied attack, but um, made for um, play by email or uh, multiplayer uh, via internet. But for solitaire play, the battle is best played as the axis. So as you can see, the stronger player take the axis, so it means that um, I guess there will be a tons of um, T-34s that it's going to be, I guess, handicap for the uh, more experienced player. So yeah, I'm going to be trying as the axis this time. Uh, Germans defending a bridge. Actually, um, yeah, it is uh, taken from uh, one of Katukov's memoirs. So Katukov survived this battle to tell the tale. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, all right. So, access it is. Operation briefing. The drive on Mtensk has hit a speed bump. Your panzers resumed advance this morning, only to run right into a T-34 ambush. The worst kind of ambush. Only five tanks of your leading battle group managed to withdraw under the protection of your flak and field howitzers. The Russians are coming, and they are coming in heavy tanks. Hold the bridge, losing it will leave the bulk of your regiment cut off on the east bank of the Lisa River. Intelligence. A horde of T-34s and a few of the monstrous Kiwi tanks are rushing us from the direction of Tansk. Reports indicate that there is a group coming in from your right flank as well. Put your tanks back. If they survive to bolster the defense we can hold. Your guns are well dug in and bore sighted, but holding your fire until you are sure of a hit will save much pain. Okay, alright, so this is a rather desperate uh, rescue and counterattack or defense mission. So the Russians are coming in heavy tanks, so we need to uh, be prepared to uh, beat them. I don't know how, but uh, yeah, there will be a lot of uh, yeah firefighting, you know, tank battles, so that's why I chose this scenario. Uh, retreating Panzer, so yeah, we have some retreating guys. One Panzer, um, Panzer 4, 3, and 
3G and 3H. Okay, so interesting uh, collection, but it's uh, probably a part of the course for the Panzers involved in early battle in Russia. And Overwatch on West Bank of Lisa, so there's some Overwatch guys. Oh, 88 Black. Okay, so we have some 88 uh, gun replacements, very feared and very destructive gun. And um, machine gun and a company HQ. And there's some breach defense force consisting of one motorized pioneer platoon, one rifle platoon, one heavy machine gun, three light machine gun, one 10, um, I guess 100 millimeter canon, I guess that's uh, represented by the flag, and 105 millimeter howitzer batteries. Wow, so howitzers and canons and ADH. Yeah, okay, so no reserves to a far field to come to the aid of Bridget. Yeah, okay, so I never played a scenario so far that um, had some kind of a reinforcement, or maybe I did, but I don't really remember. But I don't think it... I mean, on the Soviet side, I really didn't have any reserves. Um, they were pretty desperate situation in the early going, so... Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, just checking. The game is recording, and... Oh my goodness, it's dry season. Yeah, very dry. Um, wow, okay, so these are the... I guess the tanks that are moving back. They're facing the wrong direction for this guy. So, wow, crack. Yeah, crack tank. My goodness. Regular, regular, and regular. So, yeah, this one's really important tank for us. Uh, it's a Panzer 4E. Okay, with this dot turret or gun. Uh, interesting detail. Let's check in. Okay, so um, it's going to have some hard time going up against T-34's head-on, so I guess we need to retreat. The retreating is going to be done on the highway here, as you can see, following the road. And wow, this is really interesting. Um, it really slopes downward. It slopes downward into this little valley here. And then it goes up after crossing the bridge. Um, and uh, these are, why is this? Okay, so I see 88 mil, one of the canons. And these are one of the most feared guns in the war, the entire war. It probably proved effective from the 1941 onward to the end of the war. And was originally used as flak anti-air gun, but they somehow pointed it at a tank and fired it. Worked wonders and they um, still using it. Yeah, so this is a really feared gun. We have like two of them on the other side of the river and one here. Um, and um, checking out the rest of the forces. Here is the veteran tank, Panzer 3H. Oh, okay, it looks pretty good. Yeah, very nice looking tank, Panzer 3H. And these are the howitzers. Okay, so these are dug in. And the line of sight seems to be... Um, not that great. Yeah, I wonder if this is actually some kind of weapon that is more like a mortar. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like it's all blocked. Cannot really use the sight or the what do you call it? Yeah, reference point here that allows it to, I guess, calibrate the guns pretty quickly. And um, okay, so these are the guns that were used to help the tanks retreat. And I have this right now set at realistic proportions. When I increase it by, uh, I think one is probably, wow, look at that, really large. Yeah, I'm gonna increase it by one just to give you a pretty good idea where the units are while providing some sort of a context in the you know, scale. And these guys are able to see all the way down there. Yeah, so yeah, this is the emplacement that were dug in. And I don't know what this guy is doing. Looking at the wrong direction here. Yeah, alright, so... Maybe he got spun around or something. Um, the regular... Okay, so this is a uh, light machine gun guy. Uh, okay, rested and... It's pretty interesting. This guy lost a man. Right, so they are involved in battle so far. Yeah, so 44 high explosives. Um, high explosives, so I wonder if it's um, or, t or tanks or infantry or anti-infantry. 
It says armor penetration. Um, and it is able to aim at a tank with pretty good... I don't know whether this is actually pretty good. Because compared to ADH, this is really weak. Um, I think ADH can probably go up to 200. No, actually 150. Um, but as you can see, it is, um, I mean, three times as weaker, but strangely effective on all range almost. Alright, so this could be pretty interesting. I guess slowing down the progress is going to be the main thing for these guys. Um, let's see if I can move them though. Yeah, I cannot really move them across the river, although it may have been maybe possible to uh, aim it, you know, with this gun from one corner of the map to the other. Alright, so what can I do with this? Um, i like to have a better line of sight. Um, this is not going to cut it. I mean, this one is able to... Oh, okay, so this 88 is only able to aim any target um, as they cross into this reference point after this objective. This is pretty good position because they're not able to engage this gun until they cross into this area. So I'm going to make sure that other guns have a similar line of sight. That's probably my uh, homework here. I mean, I'm going to have some time to organize everything and also can edit this out. But um, I guess back then, um, when you're trying to hurry this kind of defensive schemes, then I don't think you had like much time. Maybe like hour at the most. I mean, if the tanks are basically being chased by the Soviets and you have these kind of things like all around you, then it's going to be impossible to you know, move the guns around and yeah, so it's going to be um, I mean, if this game was more realistic and more punishing for the players, then the setting up phase will be timed so it's going to be like factoring into your like AAR if you take too much time, the point is going to be uh, subtracted from the overall score uh, I think this yeah, game is optimized for multiplayer in the sense that yeah, I don't know how the multiplayer really works when you're setting up the units, but there may have to be some kind of limit. Okay, so this is a pretty good position. You can see the tanks as they roll into this uh, sloping down area. Um, now this is not that great, so I may have to... Okay, I wonder if they have any um, artillery or yeah, some kind of uh, aerial support also honed in at the bridge because I mean it's their bridge right so they might have better understanding of the geography of the area yeah this seems okay but I need a bit better here yeah wow this is surprising you can't really see from here oh I can see now all right I guess this is also workable and um these guns are here because I think, I think, and this is just my um, conjecture, I guess, um, because um, maybe since they have some smoke rounds, I may have to lay down some smoke as they uh, try to roll into our side of the map. And um, yeah, the reference point can be used, I think, to lay, some, lay down some smoke. So these guns might be useful. Maybe I can save one gun to be useful for further engagement down the road. Just too bad I cannot um, move this artillery to the other side of the highway because of different deployment zone. Uh, okay, let's just try this out if it is possible. Yeah, it's just going to be pretty uh, dastardy for the Russians as they uh, come into this part of the road. Yeah, definitely. I guess some of these guys will be hidden, primed to engage at the same time. I don't know how well it's going to work. All right, so I think I leave these guys and it seems like any you know, time they move, the fox souls move along with it. Their emplacements are, yeah, like that. Like, you know, it's pretty cool their emplacements that are dug in from right from the get-go. Doesn't matter where I place them, as long as they're within the zone. And uh, this is not that great. Well, I can probably work with that. Yeah, and this guy as well. And there's new support now. I wonder what this guy would be doing. 
So let's move these guys a bit forward in order to yeah get more yeah get more bonuses comfort to them. Yeah, they probably hide. Okay, so another objective right here on the side. That's pretty interesting. Um, I wonder what these guys can do. These guys have some anti-armor grenade, grenade bundle. So maybe they can hide and then try to hit them when they are engaged around here. Maybe they smash past us in these defenses and engage us here. Then maybe you can sneak and then try to attack from the back. Or mere presence of this uh, flag on the side is going to attract some of the Soviets at least a splinter force into here to capture this place or this um, flag. Now this guy uh, line of sight is let's see. Okay, so it's not too bad. I think I can move him a bit though. So to save us some time here um, this is the this is the lead tank right yeah veteran oh they're both veterans pretty cool wow oh wow yeah so as you can see here is our right flank where the mission objective warned of a possible soviet attack and most of this is divided by this um, marsh, I think, and some trees. But this is also really high ground, so I think I might get attacked if I... Oh, this is actually not bad position. Depends though, yeah. This guy will maybe target it um, pretty quickly. But this is actually better, yeah. Because he'll be like hidden until these guys come into this area. And um, guns will be also joining. Uh, okay, so from uh, from the start, this uh, is going to be visible. I don't know whether that's actually a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing because we might be able to knock out some of the tents right from the get-go. As they uh, come from here. Parano. Conman. Sorry, command wall. Um, this is not visible from here. Oh, this is actually visible from here too. Wow. Okay, so we might be attacked from two sides. You know, pincer, double pincer then. Yeah, not going to be that great. So I think I need to save one, at least one of these guys. Uh, to be a bit more, I guess, recessed. Uh, they might be able to only attack here, but not the other side. Or in reverse. You can target these guys, but not this. Uh, until okay so this is kind of i mean it's a not an exact science there must be some position where they're able to yeah they're able to target these guys here but these guys as well oh okay all right yeah hmm that seems to be interesting so i think it all comes down to um Managing these guns to specific zone of fire. Setting the zone here, for example. And here, they're going to be, these two will be engaged right from the start on this side. And then if things don't go well over here, then these guys can join in. And vice versa. So let's try that. This gun will not be able to see... Um, until here. Actually, it's a really good pollution. Maybe I should move this a bit so that it can only target along with the other 88. Yeah, so it's this block right here. Okay, so this is actually pretty high pollution, so I think there's really no getting out of it. Unless we go a bit closer to the river. Which, I don't know whether it's going to be very useful. Probably blocked by the yeah, blocked by the house. Wow. Okay. Since this gun is really really powerful gun, it's able to um, effectively target these guys right from the from this edge of the map to the other edge. You can see that 
right there. Um, yeah, I think this is high enough so that we are able to target from the get go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think there has to be some kind of force to look over here. Some of these guys will do that. Uh, not all of them, but some. But this guy is perfectly set up. Let's rotate. But here, it's blocked, right? Yeah, it's blocked until right here. Okay, so... Yeah. Some machine guns, so I think there will be some infantry involved as well. Right, so some units have binoculars. I guess they'll be able to see rather clearly. Yeah, so this guy has some binoculars. Right, okay. Let's move these guys here. So that they'll be able to see clearly what is going on. Um, no, not the soft ground. Scattered trees might be nicer. And you can see... Oh, it's blocked. Okay. Yeah. Even if I hear sound contact, even if I get sound contact, it's going to be enough. Yeah, and this guy is able to see and has binoculars, right? Yeah, so he's able to see and... Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know whether this is a good idea. I wonder how long it's going to take them to turn around. Like, their turret from left to right. Um, it's not going to be very fast. Probably hand operated too. Also need to take account of the fact that the tank will be engaged in some battle. So, um, yeah. Maybe I should um, allow these guys to also fire. Oh, this is actually nice. Not bad. Yeah. Actually not bad position there. Because, um, yeah, it's blocked, but then as it closes in into effective range, he is able to hit. And this guy probably should be very near nearby. Um, checking out. Yeah, it's not going to work like that, but can probably make it. Yeah, this is actually doable, I think. Fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this is doable. Okay. And uh, heavy machine gun. Right, he's able to see everything. But they will probably need to hide. Yeah, not going to be that effective long range. Okay, so has been, I think, set up. I think this is a really good placement. Yeah, shielded and everything. Unless, yeah, until here, when the Soviet reach here, they're able to see it. That's when the tank will be able to engage. And I'm going to I want to bring some of these guys up here. At least these guys. Yeah, and let's see if I can make it work. Nope, can't. Maybe I can get two of these guys right here. They have demo charges? Okay. Interesting. Which means that I wonder if you can actually blow up the bridge because or, I mean, you know, I think this is semi-historical in the fact that the German engineers or pioneers were prepared to blow the bridge, uh, sacrifice their entry point into this area to Mtensk if the Soviet counterattack is about to happen and cut us, cut us uh, from the rest of the group. Yeah, but then the demo charge here, I think it'd be more useful for um, throwing it at a desperate last attempt to disable the tank, immobilize perhaps, by throwing a demo charge at it. If the tanks arrive here, then some of the tanks will be definitely around here because you know, they will be able to focus fire in this point. Protect the 88. Alright, so these tanks, um, like I, um, I showed you before, 
I don't think they can move because they need to retreat. I think they need to fast move. Zigzag or something? I'm not so sure. But it seems like uh, they all slow like downhill from here. So they're going to be seen very well. Um, <laughs> they need to lay down some smoke at the at the first opportunity. All these guys. Ah, they can't. Okay. Yeah, lay down some smoke and then uh, pray for the best. Um, 88 do have some smoke, so they can fire at it also. Let's see what happens. Okay, Katukov, show yourself. I wonder if Katukov is actually a named unit, like a hero unit. Alright, so you guys all come um, marching. I think it's going to be a fast move, right? Some of them has to rotate though. But this guy. Uh, actually, this is a good good area because it's going to get shielded first and then um, I'm, I'm sure that taking a road is the fastest way, but uh, yeah. And um, I think we laid on the smoke. Right here. Right here. Um, I wonder if I can move this thing. I mean, six men squad, so maybe possible, but yeah, I can move it, but it's going to be too slow. <laughs> yeah, I, I attempted it um, long, long ago in um, Young Overlord, the first game in the series, and I found some, you know, gun kind of out of place, so I had to move it, but then the entirety of the game it was moving. He was not able to actually get into the position because of the speed. I wonder if the smoke round fired at the velocity of the, the velocity that the 88 can manage is able to knock out some of the tanks. I mean, it's a really fast, fast canister. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty anxious uh, right from the start because of these guys now running. I can really anticipate. Um, my options are limited, it seems. I mean, they can, yeah, they can do fast. Like, the only thing they can do is probably, you know, go fast, you know, fast as possible, not even zigzag. I wonder how zigzag uh, movement is going to work for your tanks or panzers. I mean, it's a German tanks, but, you know, there's a limit to their cornering ability and steering ability okay, so I'm kind of worried about here so let's just uh, hide for now and you also hide and these guys all hide um, I think some of these guys can yeah they're in a fossil okay so let's yeah, this guy is um, himself. Also hide. Line of sight is able to see around here. Okay. Let's sneak in a foxhole. Oh. Yeah, there's another guy here. So let's sneak around the tree and hide. Also hide. Okay, so only 23 turns, or 23 turn plus, so it's going to really go quickly. Yeah, the T-34s will just rush down the hill uh, with abandon. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to, I mean, it's not going to be a pretty sight. And um, wow, they have a jet flag here, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about ha having a red flag on your tank when you're in a battle, it's, it seems like it's a red you know, red uh, bull sign or something. Like, this is probably for a parade or something. They did it in uh, Street of France and then forgot to take it off, I guess, they as they uh, uh, went inside Russia. Uh, all joke aside, let's, uh, this is actually not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, how about here? It's going to be suitably blocked, so let's just keep it as it is. So the tanks will... This guy has to turn, but yeah, he'll be able to do it, I'm sure. He's a bad turner, crack. So he's going to be 
really quick about it, hopefully. 3 seconds only pass, so that's why it is. And the regular 7 seconds, yeah, you can definitely see the difference. And every second, I mean, a second is a difference between life and death in this game, so... Yeah, so smoke round is going to be deployed. Uh, and... Um, yeah, I think this guy could shoot a bit longer. Um, I wonder where the Soviets will start from. But yeah, I think this is... Maybe I should spread it a bit. Um, uh, okay, it's kind of limited. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the tanks will uh, try to come into this area and then uh, form a defensive perimeter so that only the tanks that come over this little ledge not little but this uh, this narrowing edge is going to be targeted same goes for here we are targeting for this area to be our um, firing zone so some of the tanks will be all trained here okay so let's go yeah i'm pretty excited some tank battle. Too bad that I have to retreat in the first turn. Yeah, here he comes. Fire some smoke and oh my goodness, that that really um, it's some huge, huge sound. All right, guys, you gotta move fast. Move, move, move. Please. These guys have to be hiding. <laughs> they let their positions known already. Are they not moving? Um, I think I gave them order to move. Oh, they're all turning. Okay, so it's not that impressive. <laughs> you gotta turn to retreat. You cannot move backward. We've kind of reversed fast. The 24 French tanks. Sorry. Okay, let's go, let's go guys. Yeah, these guys started moving, the crack guy. Oh my goodness, they spent a whole minute turning. My goodness, that's not, that doesn't load well for us. So, yeah. Any sign of, uh, so any sign of Soviets on the right side? No? Okay. Yeah, Alright, so these guys are doing okay so far. Let's see if I can move this guy a bit um, in the middle. Uh, later, and then uh, see if they can uh, re-establish command. Okay, so uh, the first turns over, they just turned. I'm kind of wondering whether some of these tanks would have just uh, should have reversed because you know at least some of the tanks like to face the Soviets as they you know turn back, especially these tanks because these will be supporting the tanks as they retreat. Um, but they turn. So dice has been thrown. I cannot really change anymore. Unfortunately, that's going to be it. This guy has smoke. This guy has uh, some smoke left, so let's try to cover everything here. The other guns don't have any smoke anymore. Maybe I could smoke here. Yeah. Kind of worried about the tanks uh, being targeted uh, with their backs facing the enemy. Now, if they make it here, then it's going to be, yeah, shielded superbly or suitably. I don't care about this flag, so. Yeah, it's just uh, waiting for the Soviets to come and engage us. So not nothing much happening in terms of our own... Um, I think I can move these guys, right? No, there's no way. I mean, this guy doesn't even have any wheels, so... Can I really move them? It's just emplacement. Maybe I can uh, hitch these guys up to the tank or something. No, can I even do that? Uh, I think the only way to move this is uh, carrying them on uh, some kind of... Uh, um, platform, put it on a platform and then let either truck or tank to tow it. Yeah, so nothing really much changing, uh, just seeing uh, how many tanks can survive 
Um, I mean, there'd be like horde of T-34s coming in, so... Yeah, it's not going to be that great. Okay, everybody ready to go? All right, let's see what happens. They're moving. Yeah, the last smoke round on the edge of the map. This guy's moving really fast. Okay, that's probably it. Yeah, run, run, run. Oh, okay, so T-34 tank right here. Yeah, it's being, um, oh god. Oh my goodness, he was able to flank us. We are like sitting ducks. Oh man, that's not good. So he's appearing from here, my goodness, I didn't know. I thought it was all here. That was a surprise. Yeah, oh no. This is not going to be great. These guys are also coming in, but yeah, it's too late um, for them to catch us. Yeah. At least the gun is distracting them a bit. Can you see these guys? No? Uh-oh. Being targeted. Just have to move it. Hightail it out of here. I mean, Soviets just, like, try to um, do... Uh, Double pincer movement right from the start. Just thought that they would come from, you know, this way, from the highway, but obviously they had a different thought about flanking us. And they're doing it with two tanks, T 34s and, um, yeah, M40 and M41. Can I check the. Yeah, I mean, they're able to knock us out pretty quickly. Uh, but then we do have some guns to our advantage for the two. Um, these guys are, uh, I don't know whether they can actually be targeted by the, yeah, they're pretty safe. So only this guy we have to move away from the, uh, away from the imminent um, targeting area from this uh, two T-34s. These guys are okay because they're in a, a lower area, but this gun is probably toast. Uh, their armor is 70... Their armor on the front is, let's see, 45. I think we have a chance. Yeah, we have a chance, but I don't know. Um, uh, okay, side blocked. So yeah, yeah, we this gun we have to. They cannot move. They cannot move backward at, at all. They cannot displace from this position. So what they have to do is they um, have to await. Perhaps a tank will be able to give some kind of a uh, support, but yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. All down, so yeah, they're they're almost they're almost uh, home free, <laughs> almost. They need to move back. This guy does have a chance of beating them, only barely. Let's move this guy and okay. Veteran. So we think about how to place them when they arrive. Okay, so in that position. Yeah. Okay, so they're in a pretty good place right now, but I think we just uh, yeah get these guys nearby here and then try to ambush them after these guys have gone through this part of the highway. These guys will arrive here. And these guys... Uh, I mean, this area was pretty good, so let's make them... The tanks will be coming from here, so can I target from... Oh yeah, I can target. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good area. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so the tank can also follow the lead or, you know, follow the whatever emplacement or placement of these uh, harvesters and then try to um, place them themselves here. Yeah, we can worry about the minute placement later. Okay, and I think this infantry might have to run soon. I'm still uh, providing some sort of uh, some sort of command for these guns, but now this guy, for example, have to probably run. Uh, how many dash? How long is that? 132 meter dash. Yeah, we have to run. This guy will wait. And how about here on this side? Nothing. Nothing yet. All right. And how about here? Can I target? Yeah. Wow. These guys will be active probably throughout the... I mean, they probably have so many targets to aim at that they really need to pick their targets. But I don't know. I just leave it to the AI to pick the most high priority targets or the targets that they feel they have the best chance against. Okay. So let's see what happens. Hopefully none of our tanks will be hurt. Oh boy, yeah, run away. I don't know how good the Soviet optics are, but... Oh man. No, we need to run now. Okay, the targeting is uh, off for these guys. We are out of the range. Oh my god. Front turret hit. Look at this guys coming in now. Oh my goodness, this this obscene. Like Zerg rush, okay. Okay, no serious damage. Please get damaged. So 88 hit. Okay, so that gun is um, rendered useless, more or less. And uh, wow, we're just hitting them from everywhere. Okay, guys. So tanks are being yeah spared. Oh, uh, this is taking cover. 10. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the machine gun is pinning this. scary folks. This is pretty scary. More and more tanks are coming in. Katu Katunov? Katukov is not kidding around. So we are being swarmed by the uh, Soviets from all all sides and um, now I think these guys we have to um, yeah just start hitting. <laughs> um, these guys almost made it halfway uh, but these guys are coming in uh, pretty, yeah, pretty fast. I think they're rushing that Ura tactic. Um, I'm sure that, yeah, they have to go through uh, here in order to face, um, I mean, in order to approach the bridge. So there's no really much of a problem there. Still have some time. I'm kind of worried about um, this, uh, this guy still in within the range of the tanks. Yeah. I think the red means that we are targeting them, but the yellow means that we are being targeted also. Yeah. So this guy is targeting the Panzer. I'm targeting these guys. I really shouldn't do that. Just have to run. Don't get distracted. And um, yeah. Gotta really run. Gotta really run as fast as possible. And this guy is almost uh, their destination. Uh, let's see, line of sight. Okay, good enough. Let's get into the lower areas. And you gotta probably, um, yeah, probably turn. I think you should turn now. You should also turn. I wonder if this is a good idea. Um, uh, kill excellent, so I will... I will try to do that. Just get the pressure off from the immediate threat. Um, oh. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh boy, alright, so this is basically... I didn't really adjust a lot of troops. Just um, have to prepare for your defense and I think I did that. Just want the tanks to arrive at their position as fast as possible. Pause one second so I mean there'll be no problems I think, hopefully. Yeah, right. And this guy kill okay. I mean I think this guy should uh the targeting. Yeah I'm not so sure what is going to happen. Kill's okay. Alright, well then target. Okay, let's try that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're making our way. Alright. More and more infantry trying to swamp us from the side. Uh, we are getting shot, obviously. Alright, so... They're still trying. They're moving while shooting at the same time, so they're not that accurate. Well, we are just staying at the same place and the tanks have made back, so that's a success. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, it's just a loud um, shooting? Yeah, fire free, that's what I understand. And they're trying to um, envelop us. Man, wish I had this amount of T-34s when I was uh, trying to defend the factory in that other scenario. I wonder what these guns are doing, maybe they're all slowly turning though, my goodness. I think they're going to be... Oh, knocked out! My goodness, alright, so something did a job. And here also, uh, we are being uh, shot at, so this Heiser has to turn around like a record player. Um, yeah, I mean, too bad. I mean, the smoke is all gone, so... But we are finally able to knock out at least one tank. That is interesting. Yeah, so infantry. Okay. Yeah, things don't look good on this side. Maybe, um... I don't know, will there be any enemies coming from here? I was worried about here, this road from Kamenwo. Let me just um, get the um, the briefing. A good job with the 88 though. Yeah, 88 did a pretty good job. Okay, so I think I was wrong. I read the briefing and um, yeah, I mean, I read that the Soviet forces would come from here, but I don't think it is the case. I think it's going to be just these guys from the north and uh, these guys. Um, so I guess um, I read it wrong, but I need to counter that now uh, with some, um, yeah, with some new placement of tanks now arrived uh, quite conveniently behind the the artillery pieces. So they're going to be in position, uh, perhaps with their own coverage arc. In order to fight off these guys, they just come in droves and um, this Harrison is going to uh, concentrate on these guys, but I think, yeah, I think the tanks will be able to overwhelm it pretty quickly. Um, and this guy, he's kind of blocked from the tank from the north, so we concentrate on the tanks along the highway. And the tanks that arrived on the other side of the road, highway, is going to... Uh, maybe, yeah, they're gonna have to find the vantage point or area where they can have a good line of sight toward this, this way. The 8080 is doing all he can, but this guy will not be... I think this guy will be uh, better just firing here. So I'm gonna give him uh, cover armor order, because I think there will be the first line of defense. And the T-34 was not able to do much. And it's pretty narrow though. 
Maybe I should give it a bit longer leash. Let's see. Um, here to here, perhaps. And there's another 88 nearby that I am able to aim at. Uh, these guys. Nine side is there, so. For now, I think I give it a order to cover arc here to here I guess yeah okay so there was a bit of adjustment turn number five let's see what happens at least two or three pieces I should have left one more yeah it's too late though it's getting uh, overwhelmed now. Yeah, it's probably gonna get abandoned, but it's able to hold on. Uh oh. My 88 is getting hit. Please. Oh, what happened? Knocked out, yeah, the artery has been knocked out, unfortunately. This guy's still okay. Pretty short. Yeah, wow, okay. So yeah, it was pretty expected. Lasted five turns though, so <laughs> I guess it's kind of lucky in a way. Okay, so here we are. Um, I think the first six turns. I think we have defended this area to the best of our ability, given the circumstances. Um, yeah, but then this is probably not, yeah, not going to last that long. And of course, the 88 has to do something about the tanks now firing at it, two of them. Maybe this guy can join in and support it. I just uh, manually override the... Um, yeah. Override this uh, zone and then um, start finding some targets over here. Uh, these guys, well, I mean, these guys will be more busy uh, taking out this heister first and then... Um, yeah, I mean, you have to decide. I think the scenario is going to come down to which target I have chosen um, and which target actually managed to get knocked out 
target selection is going to play a huge role in success of this mission. So um, yeah, I continue to try to um, uh, wrap my head around this and then uh, come back and then yeah, continue defending this uh, bridge against the Soviet tank onslaught. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed it, 26 turns. Um, yeah, I could have gone longer, but I'm suffering, I'm having a bit of a headache and among other things, so I just cut it a bit short. So hopefully you enjoyed um, while I play the six turns, opening turns, and then I come back with um, a bit longer episode, hopefully, uh, on Katunov Strikes Back. Katunov or Katukov? Oh, Katukov Strikes Back. Please stay tuned. Thank you.